For drawing details like these, there is one tool I absolutely love. It makes drawing details fast and easy, and it's cheap too. You are going to be shocked when you see what a difference this tool can make to your drawings. How would you tackle this detail? How would you shade the lace? How would you do the polka dot pattern? Or all of these little wisps of hair? We are so used to creating details with pencils, but pencils can only get darker. What about if we need to create details that are lighter than our shading? You could try using an eraser like this, but most erasers are just too big to create such fine details. And if I was just drawing this detail using this pencil, I'd have to sketch out all of these lighter details and then just try to shade around them. And yeah, you could do that, but it's going to take you longer, be way harder than it needs to be. So what is this tool that makes creating details fast and easy? I'm talking about the electric eraser. Maybe you've heard of this tool, maybe you've even tried one yourself, or perhaps you had no idea this thing existed. The great thing about the electric eraser is that when you press this button, it spins the eraser really fast. This is great because this is what makes it so good at removing really dark shading. You can really easily and quickly get really light details, and you can do it without getting any of that hand aching that you get from using regular erasers. Oh, just see how lovely those details are and how fast that was. And because it's electric, you can so easily get really sharp lines and these tiny little details that would just be impossible to get with other erasers. I love this eraser too, but it just isn't as efficient at removing really dark shading. It takes a lot of effort. You have to go over the area so many times and it does give a more fuzzy look around the edges, which is just something that you don't get when used in the electric eraser. I'll leave a link to my drawing supply list in the description. It's a nice quick list of all of my favorite supplies for realistic drawing, along with links to where you can actually buy them yourself. But I wouldn't say you could just pick any old electric eraser and get great results. I tried out an electric eraser years ago and I didn't like it, but I realized I was just using the wrong one and I wasn't actually using it right. This eraser is from my electric eraser and this one here is what a more standard electric eraser has. The first ever electric eraser that I tried and didn't like had chunkier eraser tips like this one, which made getting tiny details like these almost impossible. Here's one of my old colored pencil drawings from like 10 years ago and this was one of the first times I tried using an electric eraser and you can see that the details just came out way too thick and they look weird and it made the tool just feel a bit useless. Whereas this is one of my more recent drawings where I use the electric eraser a lot to create all of these different details and textures. So let me show you how I use the electric eraser to create this area of detail because it made it so much easier to get it looking realistic. I've already shaded and blended out the hair, but at the moment it is lacking the details it needs to make the hair look more natural and realistic. And that's where the electric eraser comes in. I just go over the top with this eraser and pull up lots of little hairs. You can see how easily it removes the shading and it just creates these beautiful fine details that really make the hair look more lifelike. And one tip I have is to really commit to the line that you are making. Try to do a nice continuous flowing line with the eraser so that it doesn't end up looking jagged and disjointed. And if you erase a detail but it's too light, you can always shade over it again with your pencil or a blending stump to darken it back up. Now let's look at the polka dots. These would normally be really time consuming to draw if you had to carefully sketch and shade around each one. But what I did was I forgot entirely about the polka dot pattern to start with. I just focused on shading the fabric folds accurately. I shaded in all of the shadows and I just blended everything out. And then I sketched out the position of the polka dots and erased them with the electric eraser. It was so much faster and gave a really realistic result. And again, for any polka dots that were more in shadow, I could just add a bit more shading over the top of them to darken them back up. 
Electric erasers are great for adding more texture to your drawing and pulling up these lighter details also helps to give your drawings more contrast and depth. And the thing is, this is just one tool I use to make it faster and easier to create my realistic drawings. Pretty much all of the tools I use are affordable and make shading realistic drawings way more efficient. And if you're struggling to make your drawings more realistic, then check out this video next where I go through eight things artists shouldn't do, but probably still do, to see if you're doing any of these things that could be holding you back from improving your drawings. Check it out now and I'll see you there.